Now activating Rigium mode. It's time to rig the game. What the hell is this? Gimme, gimme. A was. Okay, don't mind if I do. Let's go cross space moment. I want to rig the game. I want to get as overpowered as physically possible within the confines of the freaking basement. So let's get it done. No baloney here. I'm going to reroll. Oh, <laughs> get the eternal D6. Imagine I get a school bag. That'll be absolutely crazy. But otherwise, yeah, we're not taking the eternal D6. It's literally just a worse D6. Felt like getting a little bit over powered in Isaac today was kind of fiending for it so I decided to boot up good old Isaac honestly my favorite character in the game I feel like I've come full circle it used to be lost it used to be Eden but as time has gone on I, I think I've fully mentally awakened and uh, surpassed all and I have realized that Isaac is truly the real way to play Isaac uh, swallow penny that's incredible for us and uh, we're just gonna go and visit every single secret room that we can and see if we can't get a little bit overpowered serpent's kiss is an incredible pickup it's basically just common but better and it's good for when you have enemies that can't take any kind of physical damage you know such as these black flies you can actually deal damage to them by walking into them and you never know when that'll be the difference maker between you getting a black heart or not you can actually farm off of them like this not the case today but maybe in the future give me that tinted rock into more soul hearts i don't want to take these just yet i gotta go back into that whole crawl space type deal because i uh, have that eternal d6 i might not actually even go now i think about it like i don't have a role for it actually hand man is good maybe be oh no actually i was thinking like the shop has uh, some kind of crazy reroll battery play but i don't think so let's take the soul heart and just leave then i think think we'll fight should be easy enough just applying poison as much as we can till this guy's hp absolutely gets demolished righty oh well dingle's done we get roid rage is nice probably want to go to the downpour for better things overall we got a very green item type run today Okie dokie, let's go. Probably gonna go Angel Rooms. I've been meaning to reroll Angel Rooms for a hot minute. If I wanted to go full min-max mode, which today is the type of day to do it, I'm gonna let all of these ghosts destroy all of these pots. Whoopsies, thanks Swallow Penny. So that all of them can break open. I actually didn't get too much out of it, but the Swallow Penny gave me a nickel, so I'm gonna pretend that that's what the bucket dropped for me. I right, have our boss right away down here. I will be fighting this guy. I just want to spawn the Devil Deal ASAP as soon as possible because I really don't want to go inside of the Devil Room. I'm going to do everything in my power to not go in there, including not taking any red chests in case they show up because that's always kind of heartbreaking in my opinion. You, you, you spawn a deal, you leave it alone, you're like, okay, next deal I get, Age Room's guaranteed we are in there. Get a forced TP to the Devil Room by a red chest and you're like, well, freaking goddamn it. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to me. I want to reroll the key pieces as hard as possible and get some major items for the run. Oh wow, look at that. Wait, these guys don't do contact damage, huh? That's a pretty good way to farm. Do this? Never mind. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> hey, add this to the, the repertoire of things you should absolutely be doing when you have Serpent's Kiss. Good to know. More spun progress really working towards it. This was a really, really good boss fight, and I learned a new trick today. Hopefully you guys did too. Key for double bomb? Yeah, I'll be doing this. We gotta find as many secret rooms as possible. The bomb count is low, so I'm hoping as we go along, it'll be a little bit better. Let's burn all of our hearts here. Nice, hit that mega dopamine, ultra serotonin dime sound. And I think I'll go shop. Oh no, key, what the hell? <laughs> that gotta sucks. Never mind, we're good. It was about in here. Uh, I always kind of hate this decision because it's like, dude, what if I reroll and that blind item was unironically mom's knife? How could I have ever known? It's going to hurt me too badly. I think the better option is just to take the blind. If it sucks, it does not. Nice. And it was an active. I could have rolled it. If it sucks and it wasn't, then, you know, at least I save a roll for the next floor. Assuming I get close to uh, another treasure room, like I spawn right next to it. Card reading is pretty good. It does make it so we get to hit as many secret rooms as we could possibly want. Saves us some bombs. Don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, with the Swallowed Penny, the amount of coins we're receiving is going to be tenfold than usual. So I don't mind about spending all of my cash on that bad boy. No way is this my super secret. How does he do it? Let's go gamers. Let's pop all of these. A Tears Up pill is uh, actually like the purest form of dopamine. I'd love to see it. Verp. Oh, I wish I verped the tears. That's okay though. Uh, hanged man for double key is great. And now let's go next floor. Sorry, I, I, I couldn't help it. Like the secret room is just so unbelievably obvious. Okay, now. 
now let's go. Now the thing we want to take advantage of here is definitely the secret room from the card reading. We get no item in here, but double reverse. Ooh, reverse fool will get us started. Absolutely. We can use reverse sun for flight and we have a bit of damage for the floor. Reverse fool means that we have to stock up on as much money as we can. Hierophant is great. And that's definitely possible with the swallowed penny as we mentioned before. At some point, this reverse fool will be popped off and it's going to give us some wondrous things. I'm thinking the rock bottoms, the sacred orbs, the whole shebang. You know the deal. Reverse Fool, I don't think is as strong as something like a, a Reverse Stars card. Reverse Stars is just like immediate like two pedestals. But Reverse Fool, the longer you have it, does have the potential to be way stronger than anything else. It really just depends on your own pickups. So we're going to save this for as long as we can. Curse of Darkness on Dross 2 means it's impossible to see. I might as well just brighten up the gamma for you guys. But I'm not going to do that. You guys have just got to immerse with me. This is what I'm dealing with and this is what you'll deal with too. What is... Oh! Yeah, I mean, you know, you can rig the game as much as you want, but at the end of the day, a random tech X can show up and that's that. <laughs> Tech X with homing, mind you. The Homer Simpson moment goes crazy right now. Feeling locked in as ever, dude. Ready to rig the game. Feeling good to go to the curse room even if I get a TP. No, we don't, but a soul heart's incredible. And let's blow this dude. Another shop with 15 cents. Uh, Keeper's Box maybe is a bit of a pipe dream you could make the oh wow tears up jesus yeah give me that you could make the argument that oh you might be able to you know oh, plop it in the secret room but we already have a secret room rig i don't need to go spending so much money on a potential low chance for that to happen but we'll go bombs a uh, card reading will take care of that we don't need it very lucky for us i'll take that booster pack if i get the money then we get the legendary restock machine on downpour too we're gonna be able to take advantage of so many different shop rerolls it's really good whenever you get that you just double your output of how much shop items you're gonna see whether or not you even take the shop items you're at least clearing the pool of all the bad items you don't want to see we did manage to get an angel and with the double restock here pageant boy is actually a good pickup and what's in here divine this is definitely a reroll moment go ahead and die for me real quick mr angel what was your name uriel i just remember gabriel's the annoying one there we go roll oh ho -ho! we are so in dude in fact with the eucharist this angel will stay open and we have a whole lot of floor to do do i have enough floor to spawn this eden soul and make it pop off assuming that i get another battery from the restock machine which is probably gonna happen i think think so. Do I care about booster pack anymore? Not so much. I'm looking for batteries more than anything. Yes, and a habit. This is everything I've ever wanted. Let's go ghost mode, uh, clear out the mirror dimension, and pop the Eden Soul, hopefully with a bit more rerolls available, at which point it's complete wraps is GG's, fellas. Wait, will I get a reroll? Ah, I can't proc habit because I've gone ghost, actually. Hmm, this is a clear issue. Hold up. Luckily, uh, I haven't cleared out the entire thing, so I can get hit like this. This is this is better. I gotta get hit. Seems a bit dumb right now, but this this will be very worth it later on. Let me get, like, super duper low. Wow, golden penny as well. Because I also have to account for the fact that the D6 needs to recharge, you know? I spent my D6 charge to get the Eden's Blessing. There's our final roll. Charge it all up. Let's plop this in the secret room and uh, recharge our D6 as well. Is this the time to use Reverse Fool? I don't think so. I think we save this for even further. This is just a little bit of extra that we've been granted very thankful for it but not exactly necessary not my highest priority not to mention we have rerolls for the angel we got to worry about like eucharist is here now a lot we got to take into account dude what the hell the homer simpson tech x slight bit powerful don't you think look at this just melting damage yeah i could beat the game but we're going for way more we're gonna reach the stars hit the rock of eternity my god i got spun already extra extra damage read all about it what is this pill please don't be bad bombs or key is good at least for the knowledge as we move along let's hit that reroll and then leave boom Oh, wow, Flip, what are you doing here, man? You're incredible, but way too little too late. I already have, like, a whole thing going on with, you know, my, my D6, and it's just kind of awkward right now. You came at a really bad time, you know, you know. But I could make this work. We didn't go to the shop. Who knows, a school bag, <laughs> like, randomly pops off. School bag plus uh, D6 Flip. The magic combination? Don't deny it. Let's see, a random ass school bag. Battery is good. Uh... Yeah, all right. I know it's kind of not as hype, but it's definitely worth for us. Voodoo had no. I guess I missed the reroll. Whatever. I should I take Voodoo? I'm thinking no. In fact, I'm thinking we buy the battery here and just go for more rolls on the secret room because we can. Another one. Oh! 
Okay! Yes, my darling, I very much thank you for showing up. Let's go ahead and get any item we've ever wanted. Now, I know that in terms of death certificate, I've been holding back recently. I'm like, oh yeah, let's get Brimstone. Let's get Sacred Heart. No longer. Not today. I'm going full force. Where is that glitch crown? I'm going for it, dude. Today is full rig day. We're getting the most beautiful synergies ever. Come here, dude. Let's do it. Big man rig incoming. We also have a battery still in the shop, so we're about to get five more secret room items. This reverse fool is looking ever more irrelevant as time goes on. <laughs> Not to dog on it, but you know, it's uh, a little too late to uh, even be worth anything at this point. Chaos, not something you want when you have Glitch Crown. You get to control your item pool so easily. Like, why would you even do that? Maybe another battery. Maybe a... a whoa, hold up. Wait a second. <laughs> more options? Or no curse. Okay, okay. Some of you might consider me absolutely crazy, but being able to prevent any form of potential curse of the blind for the entire run while I have glitch crown is probably the highest priority thing I could have. If I can get two more cents, which I did, this will also seem crazy, but I'm going for the car battery. Like, dude, uh, what is this? Two extra rerolls? Actually, four even because it double charged because of the battery. Look at that. Buying the battery was super worth it. That means I got 20 items to cycle through here. Where is rock bottom? There you are, my beloved. You even- you just took one. <laughs> Come here. Okay, well, we got ourselves a run. A bit of a banger. It's been banger the entire time, to be honest with you. Started with a solid item, then 2-3 spun some of my favorite syringes, then homing, then a random ass tech X. At some point, you have to ask yourself, was it even really rigging if it was just pure luck? And, uh, I'm not one to judge. What was in here? Uh, that's fine, but we got rolls, so let's just- well, you might as well. Final roll of the downpour dose. We get- uh, uh, well, I guess I probably should have taken the 8-inch snails. Uh, but hey, what can you do? It Hurts is really good with Rock Bottom. Yes, I know. I'm actually taking into account Rock Bottom today. It's a new day. It's a new me. We are freaking locking in. It's gonna be absolutely nutso this run. Let's grab our extra double battery, because why not double a moment uh, and head to the next floor? What do we want to even go to at this point? Well, I guess the, the logical answer is still the secret room, no matter what. Gives us some coinage, and coinage is honestly really good for us. So all we have to worry about is the scale the scariest part of the run is this, which is when we have a mantle. Now it's gone, we have all the HP in the world, I don't see a way we can die. If I get very lucky, aka I skill solution, we could land perfection and keep that plus 10 luck up for the rest of the entire run, so let's go for that as well. Nice. Battery working out for us, so our rolls are actually still optimal here, we're not wasting any. But you give me a fat dead end like this and there's only so much I can do. <laughs> I had a guy come into my Discord recently and they were just uh, talking about how they really appreciate that uh, like I, I used to talk about how it was an absolute struggle to get videos out daily like I would barely sleep and stuff and they were just like dude that's kind of committal. I appreciate that man. Uh, this was when I was juggling both my uh, 6 to 6 factory job while also going home recording and then also editing and then waking up you know at like 4am and doing it all over again. Treasure room in here. Anything coolio? Not particularly. I'm actually down to reroll this. Uh, oh, not there either. I, okay, yeah. Rainbow, absolutely. We're going for cool factors today, guys. And I would just like to say, first of all, shout outs to that guy. Thank you so much. But, uh, that's, uh, that's not changed for me. <laughs> Like, uh, at, at all, honestly. If you look back at those older videos, you can tell that I'm super duper tired. And they're way less quality, just because I had way less time. But I still get the same amount of sleep. I, you know, I start editing up until 4 a.m., wake up at 8 a.m., continue editing, make the thumbnail, come up with a new idea for a cool as hell video, do it all over again. And I'm super down to do it because I love doing it. But that's just to say, like, nothing's changed for me. <laughs> In fact, even more so now, because I'm editing these videos entirely by myself. I, you may think that like, oh my god, this big boy YouTuber, he's got like 700 different editors and a script writer and a Mr. Beast, oh my god. No, it's just me. <laughs> I just boot up an Isaac and I play the game and I uh, try to provide some good content because that's the way I see it. Who else is going to be out there when you need something to watch when you got to eat, man? At least you got the comfort, you know? <laughs> so I just wanted to say that just so I could uh, get this message out to all of you uh, that I very much appreciate all of you, genuinely. You guys are great. 
and I'm gonna commit myself to giving you guys the best content that I can because in my opinion you guys deserve it how's about the shop oh it's greed meister yeah no I'm a little bit too past powerful for you nine volts is fine but the steam sale like do I really need more reroll potential on the run at this point let's be real with each other I think it's better to have more shop potential than reroll potential we will get another angel room here meaning we get another <laughs> chance at sacred heart crown of light godhead all of the above it's not here but it'll probably be here the next time i reroll so let's hit it what the hell happened to my noise <laughs> We got Waver and Mantle on the exact same pedestal. It sounded like Isaac wanted to dance, but he got a little bit of social anxiety. He started boogieing down Fortnite style for two seconds. Everyone gave him looks and then he uh, kind of scurried away. You hate to see it. Let's get another reroll going. Again? Oh! Okay, here's my deal. <laughs> Godhead is right there. And obviously Godhead would be incredible. We could just say that I could have gotten Godhead for posterity's sakes, but not for me. Not right now. Stairway is actually actually the real way to go. We'll take the Pascal Candle. We're gonna try and clear as many rooms as we can in a row, get it all up, and then I'm gonna take a bunch of self-damage to proc it lives. Sorry, it hurts a bunch. Therefore, rock bottom will absolutely pop off. Here's our first stairway. Try sag, maybe for potential future synergies is really good. Now it is a bit of an anti-synergy. I'm no longer gonna be using card reading, but what was card reading doing for me after I already you know, broke the game? Saving me a bomb, a key, let's be real here. Stairway is the real absolute giga chat item. Playing card to a clubs, love to see it. We still have the reverse fool. So stocking up on bombs, especially late game, chest dark room will be incredible next treasure room is it banger as hell belly jelly is pretty good honestly it could be the leading factor for why i get perfection or not i did get hit by that angel very stupidly i don't know if i'm ever gonna show that on camera because i wasn't saying anything at that time so you know how adhd is you know if i'm not saying anything it's not that interesting but there you go i showed the footage right there i got hit so we're a little bit far from perfection let's work towards it right now and uh, broken modem will be one of the main reasons i really want perfection before we hit this boss because we managed to speed run really quickly here let's look for both secret rooms a charged beggar my goodness <laughs> don't mind if i do another guy here my god a magic mushroom popping off out of nowhere might actually just be my dream come true will it happen today we ask ourselves every oh! Ah, just kidding, I gotcha, haha. <laughs> Let's be real, Magic Mushroom will probably show up on the run anyway, but that would have been sick nasty with it. Oh well, so sad, cry about it moment. Necropolis one means that we're just fighting not Mom, but Loki. So goodbye to you, gamer. What is our next angel? I am seeing a sacred orb. <laughs> I see sacred orb. I see some other incredible stuffs, but I, I mainly see sacred orb, to be real. Come here. A bit concerning now, because we've gone through a lot of the angel pool, and we have sacred orb, so I'm thinking the next time I roll this, angel we might end up having crown of light sacred heart on the exact same pedestal i'm not going to be able to take both if so it's going to be a tragic day for all gamers all around but i gotta do it anyway uh nope sa you know sacred heart doesn't exist actually <laughs> I'll take the Jacob's Ladder instead, I guess. Uh, and then I'd love a speed up. That does not mean that Sacred Heart is actually out of the question here. Give me one secret room item to reroll and a toothpicks and I will make it happen. That might be what I have to do, honestly. Like moving forward? I could go for a Giga play, but what I really want to do now is just get hit and proc it hurts as much as possible without dying. Let's just see how low we can go before I start getting like actually scared. There's a luck up there, nice. Let's go down to like right here, that's nice. Obviously this is really beautiful types of synergy, so we love to see it. Collect all our cash and then go. So check it, here is my giga play while I check out this stairway real quickly. Ooh, sorry floor! My mega play idea is that since the next time I'm probably going to get toothpicks where I would need spin down to get sacred heart would be womb one because that's the last boss that can give boss drop items. Let's use reverse fool on womb one and if I'm absolutely crazy at the video game I can force a spin down to show up and also get toothpicks on the same floor and force sacred heart to show up. That or I could just use the bag of crafting. <laughs> Shop gaming, school bag, very nice with a Diplo. Okay, all right, cracked key as well. Let's look for the ultra secret on this floor. There's stuff we can do. Let's see if we can make it work. You know, with the school bag in play, taking the bag of crafting is looking actually very, very strong of a play. That begs the question, where would I use the diplopia on then though? Like, I don't know, the treasure room, I guess? What would I even want? Double mulligan? <laughs> huh, let's look for the secret room, maybe? Maybe there's just a god, a secret room item in there. 
Oh, hello. Oh, dude, technology? Isn't this literally just a damage up? No. Yes, sorry, it is. My bad. It actually looks super cool. I love this synergy. I don't know why I said no. Rock bottom confused me for a second there. My fault, gamers. Secret room. Mmm, it's got a battery. Everything is pointing in terms of more rerolls. But where? Where do you want me to do it? Okay, well, of all of these, I guess I should take the D8 for specifically the rock bottom gaming. Roll it. We got a, a speed up. Okay, well, I can do it again, actually. I don't even know if this is really gonna do anything for me. Oh, hell yeah. Mega range up. Let's roll it, because why not? I actually did not take the wafer, so having extra ways to hit myself constantly is really good for the habit. Very happy about that outcome. And switch you out. I guess I might as well re-roll you. Oh, my God goodness. <laughs> ah, sure, why not? You know, like, whatever. It's gonna be sick nasty. Uh, and all we have to do now is, whoa, I got hella high range, is hope to god the next floor has toothpicks, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a spin down guaranteed. This is a bit of a scary run now, absolutely, but look at the damage, like, <laughs> I must participate. Angel room, whoa. Cricket's body, sad bombs, oh my god. Could be considered a gamble, but I'm thinking that I know the cricket's body will still work with the synergies and maybe I'll get a way to even absolutely override Dr. Fetus even further. And then all of all of these, never mind, we're good. Every quality four item in the game shall be mine today. We do not want to go in that card reading just yet. That would be a throw. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Again, the, the spin down dice would have went nasty here. Tech zero so I can crash the hell out of my game. And belly button because, you know what? Who doesn't want a nice belly button every now and then? Let's get at least one key piece going just so that we can have it. Uh, and then let's go and do our plan. I got to find a secret room real quick. Well, that was easy. Hello. Flop it down. We can, you know, might as well just do it even more if we can. We gotta farm for a spin down die. And then we also gotta farm rolls for whatever the boss is gonna drop. At which point, I think we are in the clear. All right. Ba boom ba And then just roll. Oh! I didn't expect to see an Arky as well, to be honest with you. But that's sick nasty. Every single quality four item on every single pedestal here. The one we care about is spin down though. So I'll be taking you. Epic fetus would be kind of cool. But I got my uh, eyes set on something different here actually. Something a little bit bewildering to maybe some people. But twisted pear looks real good. We can even get mega mushroom damage here. Give me this. Give me the damage. Did I ever even go for that ultra secret room? I don't think I did. My bad. I had too many things planned for the future. But this uh, crazy boss room play. Like this was my main priority to be honest with you. Apologies to all the ultra secret room enjoyers out there i didn't even use the reverse fool did i <laughs> it wasn't even necessary holy jesus christ i guess this is assuming that toothpicks has not shown up on the run just yet this would be an incredible bozo moment if it has and i just have not registered it like mentally i'd be quite embarrassed but i'm still happy that i got to where i am considering this was my goal this entire time so i'd be proud of myself no matter what oh wow oh wow yeah okay all right love it here dude I, dude, how's the bitrate going, guys? Is it, is it looking good over there? <laughs> Another one. Mom's knife. Do I want it? Uh, not really. <laughs> hey, didn't I get a key piece? Am I crazy? What? I thought I got a key piece. I guess I'll take this one then. I'm gonna save my, uh, rolls for this. I'm not too sure what I want to do. Give me toothpicks. Where is it? Give me toothpicks. Oh! Okay, well, we did roll out of toothpicks, but we did get polyphemus. So, sure. <laughs> Like, what, what, what even is that? I feel like knife would just destroy anything. However, oh, I missed it. I think I was supposed to go for Hamalakir there, but I messed it up. My bad. Libra wouldn't be bad with Rock Bottom, but Deadeye is 10 times better. So let's go for that, uh, and that should be it. Yeah, I guess no Sacred Heart today, but I, I could have taken it with a death certificate. Same thing, different scenario. You know the deal. There you go. To oh! Oh my, have you ever seen a better reroll in your life? C-section, magic mushroom, twisted pear. That is the reroll for the ages, dude. There's even soy milk there, but I'm not gonna take it. Obviously, uh, C-section will do more for me, and we can still get soy milk in a way if we find almond milk. Giga Brain Gaming. Okay, well, we're good. Let's leave. You know, I suppose I am a little bit curious as to what my run looks like. We can work our way towards conjoined as well. Another triple shot. So give me this. What what are we what are we working with? Oh wow, those are humongous. They haven't even exploded yet, have they? Dude, my bitrate, it's gonna it's plummeting. The quality is gone. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hello. Um, I, whew, this is weird. I guess Guppy's Paw, give me some more HP, and then I'm gonna reroll it. Maybe I get a better spin down? Not really. <laughs> Maybe I can spin it down and get something better. Guppy's Tail, there you go. This is what we wanted. 
in this library that oh there's 2020 i didn't even see it my bad dude i would have reacted harder youtuber moment if i had uh, actually noticed that it was there matt's kidney stone i did kind of mess up that timing so i'm not gonna be able to get that with rock bottom but i'm banking on like the almond milk showing up also i can't even see my screen so excuse me if i mess up dude <laughs> Like I got absolutely eviscerated. I didn't even see Idlibs die. I just saw a health bar and then one frame later it's deleted. I'm thinking Parasite's a little cooler here. Maybe you could call me wrong, but... Ipecac, you know, Dr. Fetus, it's all the same thing. Rubber Cement is good. But another roll? Nah. Another spin down? Nah, that's fine too. I'll take the Eden because it's funny. And then let's go up. Absolutely, we have to go up. Oh, no way. We're breakfasting already? Okay. All right. Well, Tammy's head is here. I might get all the way to the chest and like I'm, I, I've just done it. Like I've done every single item ever. I got every single item possible in the Binding of Isaac. Purely by playing Isaac because Isaac is based as ever. I guess we'll find out the moment we hit the chest. I don't think I burned through the entire treasure room pool though. Mainly the, the angel pool. Like I'm, oh, well, I'm learning. I'm totally wrong. Hi, Isaac. Bye, Isaac. Just double checking here because you may as well. Breakfast? Yeah absolutely we did it all even the angel room is breakfasted so take the key piece open the mega satan and should i even go to feet like blue baby what is this gonna do for me i got guppy's tail being like oh yeah guppy so many chests are gonna spawn this is a bad example not any chests are spawning let's just go check out the secret room because this is what matters if there's an item in here there you go then you know this does actually matter nice well i gotta get a key real quick Boom! Just kidding, this is also breakfasted. Let's go defeat Mega Satan. And that is how you rig the Binding of Isaac for the ages. Look at how little the, the entire game can do against my powerful prowess. It's over. I'm so where did all of these pickups come from? I'm surprised I have not broken and crashed the game yet. We're, we're very lucky for that. I guess the big question is, Delirium, do you rear your ugly, slimy face? Do you decide to fight me? Or are you a scaredy cat? He's scaredy cat. Of course he is. Well, I hope you enjoyed El Clasico Typer Run and GG's, dude.